morning and welcome to Ms. Howard's fifth grade class. Today we'll be talking about the order of operation. So let's check out our essential question. Why is it important to follow the order of operations? Pause this video for about two minutes and write down exactly why you think it's important to follow the order of operations. Okay, if you remember in class, the reason it's important to follow the order of operations is because if we don't follow the order, we'll come up with more than one answer or the wrong answer. So, let's look at clues that will help us know exactly what order to follow. Here we have PEMDAS. What does PEMDAS stand for? Well, PEMDAS stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division. Yes, I have those together. In addition and subtraction. I wonder if you can tell me, let's think back. Why do I have multiplication and division circled together, and why do I have addition and subtraction together? Remember, they're on the same level. We use the example if your parents were to come in the house with McDonald's, she'll bring both of you all McDonald's, if you're sisters and brothers, she'll bring both of you all McDonald's, but the person she sees first is the person she's going to give it to first. So again, they're on the same level, whichever one comes first. If division comes before multiplication, You'll do that. If multiplication comes before division, you'll do that. Okay? So again, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, and division, and addition and subtraction. Let's look at our sample problem. We have 4 plus 3 times 2 subtract 4. Now, take a minute. I want you to take a minute to pause this video again. Write this down and make sure when you're writing this down, you use PEMDAS. Because it helps you with clues. So make sure you write PIM that's going down vertically. Not horizontal, not horizontally, vertically. And now I'll, I'll take a second while you pause that. Okay, now we're back. So which operation should we do first? Hmm. Maybe I should start with subtraction. Let me do the subtraction first. Oh, you see, that's wrong. We're not doing the subtraction first. You're absolutely right, because that's not the order. We're going to start with parentheses. Make sure you check it off as you go through the order. So 3 times 2 is in parentheses. What's 3 times 2? You are absolutely right. It is 6. But what I want you all to do, remember, is when you come down here, you have to rewrite what you have left. Okay? And let's go ahead and take away those parentheses. I apologize because we don't need that anymore. Do we have any exponents in this problem? No, let's check that off. What about multiplication or division? No, we don't. How about we check those off too? The only thing we have left is addition and subtraction. So which one do we do first? You are absolutely right. We're going to work left to right with this one because addition and subtraction are on that same level. They're, they're kind of like brothers and sisters, okay? Remember that. So we're doing 4 plus 6 is 10 minus 4. Remember, I always want you to come back and rewrite the rest of that problem. So we have addition. The only thing left for us to do is you are absolutely right to subtract. Okay, 10 minus 4 is equal to 6. Excellent. Okay, now let's review what we did. We looked at, first, the first thing we did was we wrote it down vertically. PEMDAS, because that's clues. That's going to help us to know the order. So we looked at parentheses first. Well, it's in parentheses. Check that off. Exponents, we don't have any exponents. So we check that off. Multiplication and division. We don't have those left, so we check those two off. And then we had addition and subtraction. The reason we did addition first is because it comes first. Because, again, they're on the same level. You work those left to right. So then after that, we were able to subtract to come up with our final answer. Remember, if there are any questions, make sure you see me in the morning, okay? Because we are in this together, and that is it.